Hi, my name is Professor Alexander, and I'm here to show you how to get the areas and perimeters of triangles and squares. Okay, let's start with the square. To get the area of a square, you only need two sides, as long as you know it's a right triangle. So what you do is you get, let's say, the height times the base. So the height is 11 and the base is 8. So what you do is you do 11 times 8, which is 88, and that's your answer. So 11 times 8 equals 88. Okay, so that's the area. Now to get the perimeter, what you must do is you must add all the four sides together. So 11 plus 11 is 22, plus 8 is 30, plus 8 is 38. So you just had add all the sides together. So we just did that. 8 plus 8 plus 11 plus 11, which is equal to 38. And that's the area. That's the perimeter. Now for the triangle, what you must do is to get the area, you ignore this line here whatsoever. What you do is you do 5 times 8, which is 40. So 5 times 8, which is 40. But you don't write that yet because since it's a triangle and two triangles make a square, you times it by one half. So you do 5 times 8 times 1 half, which is equal to 40 times a half, which is equal to 20. So that's how you get the area of a triangle. Now to get the perimeter of a triangle, you do the same thing as you did with the square. 5 plus 8 plus 9.4. So we got 5 plus 8, which is 13. So let's write that down. 5 plus 8 plus 9.4 plus 9.4, which is equal to 13.22.4. And that's the area of a square, perimeter of a square, area of triangle, perimeter of triangle. So I hope that is hope that has helped you with areas and perimeters of squares and triangles. And well, if you like this video and would like to know some more mathematical questions, please subscribe to my videos or comment on ways or better means which I should make my videos.